Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. I'm a freelance makeup artist with a passion for all things beauty. If you're a subscriber, then a welcome return. If you like this content and would like to see more, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for new videos uploaded weekly. So today I'm going to be talking to you about something really exciting. This is the At Night collection from Hourglass. I'm going to show you the ambient lighting blush. So we're going to look at this today and I'm going to swatch this on my cheeks and I will show you what this looks like. In the collection there are also other items that I had that were existing and I'm going to show you that now. So let's go through that together now. So as part of the At Night collection there are the Confessions lipstick. So what I've done is I had the lipstick already. So I'm going to show you what this looks like. You can see the packaging there. It's a beautiful Confessions packaging and what I've done is I've got I've got the at night lipstick so I've got it inside the confessions packaging which is absolutely gorgeous it is stunning and one of the beautiful pieces from Hourglass which I absolutely adore so I'm just going to put that there for you and show you what that looks like and I will show you that on my lips as well later on the other thing that was from the collection which I actually picked up during it might have been Chinese New Year so before lockdown happened I picked up the lip treatment oil and this is the color at night as well and so what I've done is, this is what the packaging looked like. So it was the year of the rat this year and we've got the packaging of the year of the rat. And then I also picked up, so this is my spare one, which I'm showing you now. And then I picked up the color. So this is the color which is inside the tube now. So it's like a treatment oil. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on the lipstick and then I'll put on the treatment oil afterwards so you can see what that looks like as well as I'm going to swatch the blush on as well. What I have on at the moment is Hourglass launched quite a few years ago. Basically it is is the dim light and it's in the kind of liquid form so I've used that as a base I haven't put a lot of foundation on today and I have the hourglass eyeliner which is fantastic which gets into my waterline and I can do just above my eye just there as well so I absolutely love this and it's really fine and thin and I've got this in black I also have other colors as well and then to finish off I have the new hourglass unlocked instant mascara on already so I've actually just done that for you off camera so I thought to save time let's go through the different swatches of the collection and as a little surprise what I thought I'd do is I would do a little bit of the concealer collection so I've got two of the concealers and I think that these are really good for my skin tone I've picked up Dune and Sepia in the concealers so I've also got the concealer brush which came with the collection this was something I wanted to show so I'm, I'm going to show you how I use this on my skin. I might mix the two colours and put that underneath my eyes so you can see how that looks together because I have got a bit of a tan and it will be nice to just lighten it up a little bit with the sapia colour and have Dune as the kind of base colour. I will use this together and I will show you what that looks like as well. Finally I have also the Hourglass brush so this one I think was launched around the same time. I can't remember when I bought it but it is such a soft soft brush so I thought we could use this to do the blush today and you can see how that looks and then finally I had the opportunity which I will try and insert some video clips of to go to an hourglass masterclass and I did this when Rosie Huntington Whiteley was there and I got a photograph with her afterwards and it was such a lovely evening and I got to do this quite a few months ago and one of the colors that she brought out was you make me so I wanted to show you what that looks like on my lips because I really really like this color so today like I said we're going to be going through the at night collection once we've done that I'll do the concealers under my eyes and we will try this confessions lipstick as well and we will see what that looks like so I hope you enjoy Wow, so that's the first time I've actually used this. I absolutely love this blush. It's really natural. It gives me a really natural flush and it really suits my skin tone as I'm darker. And I think this will look really good on darker skin tones 
it's just a really really nice red it's kind of light red but kind of like a burgundy deep red with a few bits of marbling in it but as with hourglass the marbling is what makes it and it's absolutely stunning so that's the blush so i'm just gonna put a little bit more on this side to even it out so this brush is so soft i love it so that's the the blush on and love it One of the things I didn't mention was Hourglass also launched another blush and it is actually an existing blush. If you have the limited edition ambient lighting edit Ghost, you will have this colour. This is number six, Sublime Flush. So I wanted to show you what that looks like. I have the palette here. I didn't actually end up doing a video on this yet, but I wanted to show you just ahead of that what that blush looks like. So it's here. Just there. So I didn't want to buy the full size because I had the little size. So I wanted to see how I got on with that on my skin tone. So at the end of the video, I will do a little swatch of that so you can see what that color looks like because it's a new launch. Um, let's now go ahead with the lipstick and the lip treatment oil. So this is the lipstick, this is At Night, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I decided to paint my nails in the Gucci, the new Gucci nail polish that I bought to match, and I've got a red hairband with a red top, and I just thought it would look really nice with this look, but I absolutely adore this colour, it's gorgeous. And this is At Night in the Lipstick Confessions. Okay, so this is the lip treatment. It took a while for me to pump it out, but it's out, so let's uh, try this one on now together. That is stunning. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's like a lip gloss, but you can see that it's nourishing and it's really good for your lips to protect your lips, especially if you're feeling quite cold. But what I might do is I might remove this and just do the treatment on its own so you can see what it's like without the lipstick confessions underneath. That's lovely. Let's try this lip treatment without the lipstick on now. So I'm just going to pump out a little bit more. I really like the applicator as well. It kind of helps to go around your lips. It's really, really nice. Without Confessions lipstick underneath, it's kind of got this really lovely sheen to it and it's really moisturizing. I love it. Okay, so now let's move on to the concealers. So, like I said, I've got two of the concealers. I've got Dune and I've got Sepia. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit of Dune on my hand and then a little bit of Sepia on my hand and then I will put it under my eyes. You can use it directly from the tube, but today, because I'm mixing the two colors, it will be really nice. Actually, what I might show you is I'm going to just probably use this as a way of just evening out some bits of my skin. So let's try Dune on its own first. I'm just just got a little bit here and I'm just going on little areas that I want to disguise so Dune is my shade in terms of my I suppose my skin color so let's just try a little bit of Dune as a kind of corrector as opposed to a concealer but I think it's good to have two colors so you can get one that will be more useful when you want just a bit of light underneath the eyes so let's um let's go with that and then I'm gonna use the brush that comes with it so uh, let's see how that looks so I'm just gonna so you really don't need a lot but all I'm doing is using it as a kind of it's still a concealer because it's trying to even out parts of my skin that I'd like to even out. 
I don't know if you can see that, but it's definitely helped to even out my skin. I'm just going in to the other side, just hitting the bits that I think need a little bit of evening out. So I don't know if you can see, but that's definitely helped. And then what I'm going to do is take the lighter colour, which is sepia, and then I'm just going to try, I put a few dots under the eyes. I've noticed as well, I don't really need a lot of product, so I would start off with a small amount and then increase. So I've got sepia here, which is a lot lighter, and I'm just going to put a little bit, just a little bit under my eyes, literally three dots, like so. So I'm not going to go crazy, I don't think you need that much to be honest. It's quite pigmented. And then I'm going to take my brush that I was using just now, and I'm just going to go underneath the eyes just to lighten that area up a tad. I don't know, maybe I put too much on but you really don't need that much, but it's just trying to find the perfect balance. But yeah, it definitely helps to disguise sort of um, when you have like dark circles. I think I might have gone a little bit too light on this one. What I might do is just mix it with Dune a bit now. Actually, I'm glad this has happened on camera so you can see how I've corrected it. I'm just taking a little bit of Dune, which is my colour. I'm just going to go in because it's a little bit too light. I can just see that it's a little bit too light. I think what I might have to do is mix the two like I said I was going to because Dune is kind of like my colour and then Sepia is just a little bit lighter so yeah I think that's probably a better match for me just to add some light but not too bright under the eyes so I'm just going in with the rest of my Dune and just mixing it with the Sepia I think mixed is definitely better, it just looked a little bit too light. And the worst thing is you don't want sort of um, panda eyes or anything. I think that's better. But yeah, just as you can see it's really pigmented so you really don't need a, a lot and to be honest mixing it is probably better. And then what I'm going to do is just go in with the blush, just to, I think I may have rubbed off some of the blusher, so I'm just going to go in with the blush and just warm it up. So that's the blush with everything. So concealer is really, really nice. I think you just have to go in, I think I went in with a little bit too much. Maybe I could have done, done two dots and then mixed the sepia with the dune a bit earlier to get a better mix. But now, as you can see, it looks a lot better. And I think I'm glad that we did this together on camera so you can see that sometimes mixing products is a really good idea because you get the kind of result that you need. Yeah, I'm much preferring that. So I can see that in the camera, it looks so much better. And the concealer is really, really good. The lip is really, really good as well. So this is the look. I'm now going to show you what the blusher looks like that they've just launched, which is the Sublime Flush. And I'll show you that with the limited edition, I think it was limited edition, Rosie Huntington White Lees color that she bought out. And I'll put that on my lips as well. I'll remove everything and uh, you can see it from scratch. But yeah, this is the uh, result of what I've done so far. So what I'm going to do with you now is just take the Sublime Flush, which was the one that I showed you earlier, which has now been launched as a larger size, but I just wanted to show you what that looks like on my skin. So I'm going to use the smaller head of the two brushes because it will get into that better. So I've got Sublime Flush on at the moment and it's just kind of how I thought it would be. It's really lovely, it's quite light against my skin tone so I have to kind of build it up 
a bit so for you to see it so i'm pleased that i got the larger size of at night in the blush instead of the sublime blush because i already have it in this palette anyway but i don't think it really shows as well on my skin i think it's probably better for a lighter skin tone the final thing i wanted to show you was the um rosie huntington wiley's you make me because i remember trying this when i was in store and i really really love the color it's quite a nude color and actually it will look quite nice with the blush that i have on so let's try that one on together now So I have it on at the moment and it's hard to describe it. I think it's kind of got like a corally look to it. It's really, really nice. It's very natural. It looks really nice with the blush that I have on. And yeah, it's really, really pretty. I love uh, sort of any of these sort of confessions lips anyway. The texture is quite... It's quite moisturizing it's not matte but it kind of looks matte when you have it on and you can always add things to it to make it look sort of stand out i thought since we were doing this look it might be great to try on one of the hourglasses uh products which i have which is the scattered light i've always wanted to like play around with this color so the one that i've picked out is blaze so it comes in this sort of beautiful sort of uh container what i thought we could do is just play together and i could put that on my eyelids so i'm gonna tap with my finger because it's really pigmented and i'm just gonna put it on my eyelid like so and what i love about blaze it's got this lovely kind of rose gold kind of a color to it and you don't even need to use a brush for this like I would even use my fingers because as you can see it's so so pretty and it goes really well with this look to be honest I've got liner on I mean you can jazz it up a bit more if you wanted to but I just kind of wanted to show you what that looks like and it's really really pretty and you could even take the colour here and put that on the lower part of your lower lid as well. So I might just use the remainder. I've got my... And then just put it on the lower lid. But it obviously will look so much better when you use a brush. But I just wanted to show you what you can do with this. It is really, really pretty. So this is Blaze and it's one of their scattered lights. I am a massive Hourglass fan, as you know, and I never feel disappointed when I buy their products. I think that their products are so well made and they're in a class of their own, really. You can't compare them to anything. Their products are just beautiful and I've been a fan for many, many years. I have a huge Hourglass collection because it's probably one of my favorite brands and whenever there's a launch, I'm always there. I really hoped you enjoyed this. So this is the finished look with just the Sublime Flush with You Make Me from the Rosie Hunter and whitely with her lipstick that she brought out and then i've got the scattered light in blaze so. my final thoughts i love the at night collection i'm pleased that i already had some pieces from the collection so i already had the confessions lipstick i had the lip oil treatment in at night so it was really just a question of buying the blush and as you saw previously the blush looked beautiful and it really suited my skin tone and i'm glad that they're making colors that are uh, i suppose for deeper skin tones because sometimes I find with uh, some of their ambient blushes that they are a little bit light but you really need to go in store and I think you really need to experiment and try obviously it's very difficult at the moment but when you get an opportunity if you can and just try it and see what would suit you so thank you very much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this video and please let me know your comments what do you think about the at night collection have you purchased anything from the collection uh, will you be getting anything and uh, what did you think of the looks that I did with it I would love to hear from you. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't done so already. And I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Thank you.